Hey there. So this is um, a little printed circuit board that I have um, that I needed to respin so I can afford to waste it. Um, those little frog egg looking things on the soldering uh, on the printed circuit board is actually soldering paste. Um, now soldering paste is basically a mass of really tiny little solder balls uh, suspended in flux, uh, a lot of flux basically. So um, this is under high magnification. Um, just to give you some context, the width of the uh, middle pad right there is 0.4 millimeters. That's about a 64th uh, of an inch or about 0 0.015, um, maybe 0 0.016, uh, 16 thou. So um, I put some really tiny amount of soldering paste on there. Uh, so let us solder it with a soldering iron and see what we can see. It's going to be a little hard to find the soldering iron under magnification. There it is. Um, so let's see if I can first touch this tiny little pad. There we go. So you see pretty much all the solder has melted except for a couple of solder balls on the side. Here's the larger mass of solder paste. Oops. Yeah. So you can see that um, you can actually solder using solder paste um, under magnification. I really don't recommend it because I put barely any, um, I, have, I have this huge syringe of soldering paste and I basically barely touched it to the printed circuit board and I ended up with all that soldering paste. Uh, it's much better to use a soldering stencil. Um, and I typically use a stainless steel sense stencil. Now you can see, um, if I move this a little bit, you can see that there are still some solder balls um, remaining on the printed circuit board. Um, and even with a reflow oven, I have found that sometimes these solder balls just remain. Um, they are um, probably not big enough to cause any difficulty, but they can. So what I sometimes do is I just take some tweezers and I can just remove the solder ball. Um, it, this, I don't think this solder, ah, there we go. So I can just remove it somehow. There's a lot of flux on here. Yeah, so I just removed it. And now I'm looking at the tweezers and I can barely see that solder ball. So if it gets loose, it may not cause any great difficulty because it's so tiny and it can't really short out the pins. Uh, but even so, I just like to search for the larger ones and just remove them. Um, to get rid of the flux, you typically use uh, isopropyl alcohol. Just uh, pour it over the printed circuit board. That will get rid of most of it. Um, and then just dab a paper towel on it and that pretty much gets rid of the rest. Um, then you can really uh, remove the larger solder balls a lot easier, um, I think. Um, and then just give it another wash because when you remove the solder balls, there's a little bit of flux underneath. Um, and that's it. That's basically uh, what solder paste is and, and how it works. Hope you enjoyed that.